Did you? Yeah. Well, we'll come back with part two just to make sure that everything is going with two. We have to get up. And it's working, you're right. I didn't hear the click. I was telling Barbara, we have Barbara and Duffy. And I was telling her earlier, I did a whole show with this clicker and it didn't go on because I had the thing the other way and I didn't see this. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about how you work mm -hmm. in part one. Now we're going to do part two. Uh, how do you work? Are you training? What kind of training did you get as an actor? Have you studied? You said you studied with the. Uh, who? Well, um, I. So. After I came back from film school, after I graduated from film school, I started doing live stuff, and a whole variety of live stuff. And then after years of that, then I started training again. Um, so I've been with um, Anthony Mindel. He has a school. Uh, have you heard of him? Not really, no. He's doing very well. His school is growing. Um, his theory is it's really just being in the moment. There's no oh, technique. Yeah. There's I mean, there's no um, doctrine, there's no, um, it's, uh, his style is basically, you know, read, read ahead as little as you can. You're really just going to the page, ex you know, experiencing whatever you're experiencing in that exact second, and then coming up with it. You know, um, so it's kind of like scene, scene study a little bit. Um, it's very, like, a personal approach mm -hmm. to whatever you're feeling at the moment, and, um, yeah, so I've been with him. I um, I took an, I did on camera for a while um, with uh, Saxon Trainer and Annie Greenlee, and um, which is a whole different, you know, it's really. What did they do there? You you uh, you have a camera like this. You do a scene and then you look at it and. Um, you know, oh. you should have it down. You should have you should have absorbed it, as they say. What, um, the, what do you mean by that? The text. Oh, okay. Like, well, the classes are conducted um, as close to a real audition as possible. It's audition technique. So. Oh, audition should, technique. Audition okay. technique. Yeah. So you've. Um, I mean, it's more than just audition technique. They they have very you know uh, specific theories on how to absorb your material and how to embody the character and um, the kind of work that you do beforehand. It's very extensive. Um, uh, so yes, I've been with them. Does it mean when you say beforehand, it's almost like uh, do you? Uh, it's like why am I doing this? Why is it so important that I do this today? What do I want? From you know, the other person? it's not. It, no, that those are that's method, right? Well, it, it is method, but it's yes, it's method. Uh, yeah, you know, why is it so important today that I have to say this? It's, Why am I here? I, you know, in in their the way they go about it is is less specific questions. It's more um, you are. They go uh, go through the 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 dialogue. The dialogue. Line by or phrase by phrase, and you are really experiencing. There's, there's no like whys or who's or what's. It is just how does this impact me? You know, Naturally. you're attaching it to, you're, you're um, taking in the environment you've created. Yeah, and you're, you're absorbing this and you're reacting to it from who you are. Is that, you know? You just said the key word, reacting. Because mm -hmm. that's what acting yes. is. Right. It's reacting. Yeah. And you're right. I, that's what I do is, is uh, when I read something, I just read it. And whatever happens, I go with it. Mm -hmm. So it, it, that's what I do. Do you, do you have, sp I mean, at this point, you're not running through specific questions, but like in the no. beginning of studying, don't, no. aren't you what much more, well, the beginning student would be much more aware of what they... I think, no, in the beginning as an actor, I just did it. Yeah. Now, the reason why I ask you the other questions is because the method... And the more we learn as an actor, the less we do. Because we start analyzing. Yeah, you get out of your head, right? Right. And you're just living. And then you're not, you're directing, you're not acting. Mm. If you just do it, everything you learn, you have to forget. That sounds so simple. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it, it really is, because yeah. 
th those things that I'm talking about, technique and this and that, is only for when you're stuck. Mm -hmm. When you, you, know, you, you don't know where to go. And what should I do? Oh, well, like, I need to, like if I need to feel this emotion, well, I have sense memory. And you have classes where you do sense memory and you find something that's five years back or more and that you can automatically go to if you need to. But you're pulling clear. from your own life, right? Own life, yes. Yeah. That's why, like Martin Landau, when we were talking about one day, you know, the pain that you go through in life is a gift for the actor. We, you know, there's certain situations, though, like when you're dealing as a character, if you're dealing with the death of a loved one, I don't want to think about my loved one that died. Well, I don't. It, it feels like it, it feels, it makes me feel icky inside. Well, then you can't use it. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather... Find something similar yeah. to that. But, and what if, they, if you're in a scene where your loved one dies, what are you going to use? I, I mean, I think you can... Pull, I don't know. I mean, you have much more experience than I no, do. It, no, it's I'm not a question of it, it all together. But. It's not a question of experience. It's a question of what are you going to use? Now, if the death happened in less than five years, I say don't use it. But if you can handle it, that, you know, using the death, then use it. If you can't, don't. Yeah. you got to substitute it, and you've got to find something that would substitute it for it. I mean, how do you, you know, it's like, Okay, you don't, a loved one's death, you, and if there's something else, I, I better, if, if there's something that you never experienced before, you never, like, killed anybody, right? Did you ever step on a boat? So you killed somebody. Right. <laughs> That's what I mean by substituting. Yeah. Go back to that feeling and think about it now, what is why did I do that? And this, this, it's going to, I could see something start to go there right away. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know? Yeah. That's what method is. It's finding something in you that you can relate to. And if you don't, the dead, that would have been just as good if not using you, the, the death that you care about. Mm -hmm. If you thought about, well, I did step on the boat or something more. Oh, I saw a picture of, uh, of an animal being slaughtered. Yeah. I mean, look at your face. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's there. Mm -hmm. It's instinct. And the audience doesn't know that you're thinking about what they, you know, they, they, think, you're, they think you're thinking of what you're thinking. They think you're thinking. Uh -huh. that makes uh -huh. sense. Yes. You know? I mean, but that's what technique is all for. Uh, the rest is all... When I was teaching in Cleveland, I would tell my students, if you believe it, I believe it. Now go home. You don't need any acting lessons. <laughs> <laughs> really? But they say, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, uh, that's the truth. Yeah. If you believe it, I'll believe it. And that's what it's really all about. You know, all the rest is, is something down the road, so you, when you need it, you need it. And you do need technique. Because there's times you're going to be stuck. And you've got all these people around you and all this and that, and you got to do it over and over and over again, especially in film. Mm -hmm. And now, now that it's digital, they go, they go, Five million takes. oh, <laughs> God, they, they just go, when I was doing the, in Cleveland, yeah, I was, well, I said, you guys, you know, you got to give me a break here. I can't keep doing this and doing this, because you got this digital now, there's no stopping. So how do you keep it together? Well, you just, you keep it together because you, the technique. And, and hey, when that stops, you know, one thought is not there, you have to use another thought, another technique. But you got to keep it fresh. Can you stay in it, or do you need to take a little bit of time off? You know, if it's, in, you know, 20 takes in, do you need a second, or are you able to keep going? Well, in between takes, you, you get back in shape. Yeah. You know, you, you, what do you do? Um, I, I just try and stay in my bubble and try, you know. Well, if there's so many takes, I mean, how do you keep, if you have to, well, they, they ask women to cry a lot, and, and I don't know if, they, if that's happened to you. Yeah, it's like a, it's a roller coaster of, um, it may start in one place, and then I gotta find, another, like, you know, it's despondent, it's upset, it's, it's pissed at, I'm using being pissed at the situation, and, you know, it, I, I think it ends up being kind of different for every take because there's a different... Oh, yeah. You, 
With, yeah. Do you try to do that? Give it a different take? I don't try to. The moment I start trying to do anything, I think well, my I don't eyes... Mean trying, yeah, yeah, but, but, but I mean... No, I... Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I really just, um, it, I, all I can do is just be exactly what I am at the moment. You know, I, I kind of wish I had more of an understanding that, um, I emphasize that I went away and then started training because, or I mentioned that, because I don't have any of that real solid, like, theater school background. I just, I'm coming at it from a real, um, organic place. Almost like a layman's, almost coming at it as a director's view, and a, a student. Yeah, it's a little more, well, in some ways I think it's good because I don't have anything that's holding yeah, me back. I don't have to unlearn anything. A lot of people yeah. I've, I've met in my classes are trying desperately to unlearn techniques that don't serve them because they're part of a curriculum. So I think that works in my favor, but then there's also, I don't have a solid, like, I'll, I'll go to this, you know, I'll go to this um, method of, of uh, conducting myself, you know, that will automatically bring me out, bring me back in, you know, that sort of thing. So yeah. I, I am missing that, but I, it's kind of like, it feels like a good balance, but... Well, it sounds like a good balance, too, but it, I, what I always told people, if they want to know what acting is really all about, go and watch kids play. I have so much to say about watching children play. <laughs> I, I have a five-year-old in my life now, and there is nothing like watching his imagination go. You know, unless unless you have a child, you have a child that you can watch day in, day out. I don't think you quite get okay. just the way. I don't know. That's my experience. That's I your thought, acting teacher, right? Yeah, yeah, really, because he there's no there's nothing holding him back from making from conjuring something and expressing it and it all makes sense on some level yeah. and it's fantastical but it's all grounded in the, in the human experience it's so special to watch there's there's nothing telling him no it's right you know? and, and it's real for him yeah you know? oh my goodness yeah the kind of he, he can have like a stick in a box and that's a ship right. and it's a real it's a real ship, ship. it's a yes that's what it's I'm a saying. real ship it's amazing <laughs> And that's, that's, exactly, that's what you need, right? You need to look out into, or like now, you can be on a green screen, like a uh, background. That's the kind of imagination you need, right? That's exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you want to know what acting is about, go watch a child. Yeah, that's brilliant. You know? Very good point. It really is, yeah. and it brings, because it's there. Yeah. You know, I remember when I read a few places where they, they were trying to, they had these acting schools, bring your child. And I really, I said, oh my God. You destroy them because oh, the they, yeah. because their imagination that. is so alive, and you have to let it just be. To teach a kid how to act, you destroy him for life. Aww. You know you would. Yeah. I mean, because could you imagine somebody going up to your 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 son and saying, "That's not real. I want you to do it this way." That'd be horrible. Yeah. Anybody putting their input. Yeah would destroy him, mm -hmm. and they, you know, and they, they, creativity. So all you mothers and fathers or whatever you are, never teach your, take your kid to an acting school. <laughs> really, I mean, it, you'll destroy them. But it, it's right, I mean, I could see your face light up when you were talking about your son there. And that's what it's really about, see? If, if you believe it, I'll believe it. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to go back to that, that's what it's about in acting and uh, what I like about you is you're willing to learn and another thing it's funny I've had a few porn stars on my show and, to, and I always tell people porn stars to me if they were trained could make great actors because they're willing to get naked and they're willing to and make it in the brain yeah that's so vulnerable Yes, and if you if you're willing to go there, that means you've done it. There are no obstacles yeah. to hold you back after that. Yeah. And when you were talking about burlesque, I'm thinking, now here's someone that's willing to go there. Doesn't mean you have to show your breast, but you were willing to go there and show your body on stage mm -hmm. and let people judge. I mean, you've Not done it. Not care. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. 
this, it, you've done it. I mean, you have. That's when I was sitting there thinking, my my God, if you could, if you could study with my with Salome Jens, who's, oh, she's just, uh, and she's the artistic director at Active Studio, but she teaches over in La Cienega, and if, and you would learn so much from her about what it, this you know the craft is really about. Every time I see her work and I ask her, how do you do it, Salome? Her answer is, oh, I just do the work. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's, it's something about when we act, I always try to tell, when I, when I used to do scenes at Actors Studio in New York, I would always let the observers and finalists come in and watch me work, which is very rare. They don't, people don't do that, you know, my rehearsals. Because people don't see they see the finished product, but they don't see the work. Oh, yeah. Understand when they see the scene or the audience out there when they see us on television or movies, they they see the finished product. They don't see the work, and that's really what it is. It's called the work. Acting is a, is work. I mean, you have to know what you're doing, and and that's why I said you know your son knows what he's doing. It's real, and you have to do that. That's when you were talking earlier about how you read. That's what it's really all about. It's about reading and just going with it. See where it takes you. And if you're willing to go with it, uh, either it takes you there or it doesn't. And, they, and it, that's why you have directors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody's going to tell you not to go there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, bring it down and bring it up. And you, you ha can't be afraid to go somewhere. Once you start thinking, then stop. Yeah, fear. Fear is, is the worst, isn't it? It's but now, if I was ever coaching you or anything like that, I would always, I think a key that I found in you, that I've seen, is the key for you is burlesque. I've done it. You know, <clears throat> yeah, I guess I haven't thought about it in those terms. Does it make any sense? It or? does, yeah. And, you know, and I think... Initially, I think I've, I've um, I need to regain faith in all that because I have a lot of stage experience with shows, really quirky kind of shows, uh -huh. all over Los Angeles. And sometimes I don't, as I compartmentalize those experiences, and I don't allow that. To, you don't incorporate them. Yeah, because there's, I mean, visually they're so different. The exp the people. The experience, the reaction, and just working with a live audience is so different oh, than... It's the best. It's wonderful. It's immediate. You can make... You're making a connection with people. You can look them in the face. You can make them... You know, and the stuff I tend to gravitate towards is funny, sexy, you know, um, it can be serious. It, you know, it's, it's everything all together. Right. And that's just a very different experience as a performer than being in front of a camera. So I think... I've not necessarily made that connect. I haven't taken advantage of that connection yeah. to the extent. And it is an advantage. Mm -hmm. Because you know, when you said the audience, it's the same audience, just seeing a different show. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone's, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's the same audience seeing a different show, a different side of you, what you can do. And, and, and the, the one good thing about doing live, you can feel, uh, hopefully, you can feel. I know when I'm on stage, when I know when I have the audience, and I can do anything I want with them. You know, I control it. Yeah, that's a great feeling, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. You know, you can. And make they them want to be. They're they want to be. Want to be entertained. They're waiting for you. That's to that's get a the key word. Yeah. They want to be there. Yeah. You know, you didn't go to them; they came to you. Yeah. yeah. And the more the the more you tap into the good stuff. The more grateful they are, you yeah, know. It's like, and you know it because you can see it you right can there. Feel it, yeah. you know. It's not, even yeah. if you don't see it, because I'm one of those people. Uh, when I when I act, I don't see anything but what I'm doing. You know, even on the movie set, I don't see anybody around me or whatever. I just, it's like I lose. I get so, in, you know, I see what I'm doing and I'm there. Mm -hmm. I, it's almost like I'm always trying to be in the moment. And if you're in the moment, you can't be aware of other things. You know, you have to concentrate. Yeah, that's a, which I think is, that's a different aspect of acting, right? When you're on a set, yes. you 
I, for for me, I find it like meditative. It is really, it's really you're just there with whoever you're talking to, right. and everything else needs to go away. It so, has to go but, away. But then theater is, I think it's kind of the or the kind of theater that I've done, which has been a lot of comedy. Well, yeah, you it's audience audience participation. A yes, lot. yeah, yeah. You, you involve them. Right. Yeah. Yes. And that and their energy feeds your performance. Right. And it's in your it's a symbiotic kind of thing, you know. Whereas it, 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 it's not true. I think if you were taking in all the information around you on a set, you, your head would explode. Oh, it's definitely. Too much going on. Too much, and it would. It yeah. doesn't serve you at all. Right? No, it, no. How could it serve you? I mean, well, it yeah. could. You know, there's things that happen that can serve you. You know, that's another thing about acting. There, are, you know, what when you what happened that day, or what happened on the set, you hear a sound, something that something is not supposed to be there. How do you react to that? Do you react to it? You know, and a lot of times, actors don't acknowledge what's going on, and all of a sudden the audience will pick up on it, and, well, well, and it takes them right out of the moment. Mm. You know? And it's like props. You always see props, and actors don't use them. You know, they're there for a purpose. You know, you bring things. It's it. Actors sometimes they just concentrate so much. On what they're doing, and they're not aware. Not living in the in the moment. Area. In the there's, you know, I, I don't know at the studio we do it. You know, when we do scenes, see, the actors talk about what they worked on a lot of times. Well, I worked on the place, which means like we're sitting here on the couch. Now, are you aware of the pumpkins and this and that? And oh, I wonder who that girl is over there on that picture. You know. I mean, while we're doing the scene and we're talking, if we're doing the scene, I'm, I can look there. What? Well, who is she? You know, it, it's 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 there. Why not? Uh -huh. So, so you're connecting with your environment. Right. Or, yeah. Why not? I mean, it's there. Mm -hmm. Use it. And it, it, if if I use all this, I'm looking at a brown bag over there. Oh, she likes. Well, that's an interesting bag. Oh, better she likes horses. I'm thinking to myself, do you? I do. I'm allergic to them, but I like them. Oh, see, I'm looking at it because it looks almost like a saddlebag. Uh -huh. You know, how you just look at things sometimes, and 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 it gave us a new reaction. Mm -hmm. And it's it's little things like that. When I watch acting myself, I watch for the little things. I went to see the movie Nebraska with Bruce Stern, and I was watching. I talked to him afterwards, and uh, I. There was a scene, the, the, the woman that plays his wife, she's really great in it. But there was a scene when they walked in to his house, and he, he was in his, his mother's family, mother and father's bedroom. And he says, I was never allowed in this room before. And the look, the little look that his wife gave was such a surprised look, like she had never heard that before. And I thought, wow, that's acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's those little, little things that you that we pick up on, and the audience picks up on, oh, it wasn't all the funny things she's with the language and everything. It was that little moment that, oh, she didn't know that. So what she was doing is listening. Right, yeah. yeah. Would you say that's the most important thing? Oh, of course. Yeah. I'm listening to you, and you're listening to me, and it's real. Mm -hmm. You know, I could see it in your eyes. The camera we could see it. It's, it's, it's. It, that's what uh, I hope it is for you too. Oh yeah, it's connecting. It's, it's yeah. the, that connection. If you can, con and you have to connect. Excuse me, with the actor, because uh, I mean, it's not only with the actor, but what the feeling is. If you can, if you want a feeling, and you want it, and. I, I think women know more than men how to get things. <laughs> really? I think so. I, I, my greatest teachers have always been women. They're yeah. more emotionally well, in tune? Or? I think they're more... I, I don't know what it is. I, I never could figure out women, and I don't try. <laughs> but I know you're, you're smarter than me, and you're <laughs> braver than me, stronger than me, and... Uh, I, I, I know that much, so I know not to question. But I know that you, you women know what to do. 
instantly. And it was funny. It's uh, yeah. It is, I mean, my biggest teachers have always been women. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah. No, but well. No, it's, it's just to me. It's there's also. I mean, <clears throat> it seems like there's a bit of a power dynamic too with with acting, just outside of the actual work. Um, I would. Yeah, there is. Go ahead. Keep yeah, I don't. I'm, yeah, and I'm not exactly sure how to phrase it, but. Well, men seem to want to rule. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? You can, yeah, you can be in, in a, that tasseron, yeah. and the, you know the, the women not supposed to. It is. It's a man's world, unfortunately, and yeah. it shouldn't be that way. I, I'm totally for women. I mean, uh, so I'm not one of those. No, you seem. Like <laughs> you know. I got, you know, I don't, it, but the, you're right, it's, it's harder for a woman. We, we did a show and we were talking about, I had someone on and he, was, he actually was running for the SAG board and he comes on and he talks, but he wants to do away with sexual harassment. What? Yeah, he, that's what he wants to do away with. Yeah. And I said, you got to Do away with it? Yeah, yeah, you know, have it stop. He doesn't want, but I said, throughout life, I mean, oh. sexual harassment has always been there and it's going to be there. You have to learn how to deal with it, and it's, it's unfortunately it's there. Yeah, I think though, if you know, maybe a stronger vocabulary and a way to acknowledge it, you know, even from the time I started in the film industry to now, it, that's it's changed a lot. And being yeah. like a twenty-year-old girl being sexually harassed at work is one of the most upsetting things because it, you, it it really can throw off. Yeah. It can throw off your whole career for a while if you're not careful, you know, so it is but there was no vocabulary for it. There is no vocabulary. I mean, he's, you know, I mean, it's a passion with him and and I understand. And I wish he would go. I wish it wasn't there, but it's going to be there whether it's in acting or whether it's throughout history. It's always been there. Yeah. You know, I mean, unfortunately, it is there, but you're right. It is becoming women today are so much more. They're stronger today. I, I mean, not not that they're strong. Yeah, I guess they have a voice more today. Than, I think it's say, not so ago. shameful to acknowledge, acknowledge something has okay. happened. Maybe that's a better I've, word. I've for heard it. so many great stories from older actresses, yeah, right. like when they first started, and they went over to the producer's house, and all of a sudden he comes out with a robe, yeah. and nothing on underneath it, and like most of them, the lucky ones, they just run out of the house screaming, and then the guy will come up. You'll never work in the... Like, they actually say that, you know. Yeah, and I, I think now if that happens, you know, there's a way to... Uh, I think the internet is very helpful for, um, you know, sharing that information. And I don't think women will have the threat of being blacklisted. Is, well, it still a, goes on. Yeah, I know. Right? But, like, a story like that, I think, is going to uh, make its way around a lot quicker than it would have, you know. But, you know, the sad thing is that there's a lot of them, a lot of women or men will go the opposite, you know. And I know a lot of, I, we were talking about it, a lot of actors and actresses that we knew who did do it. And, and, I, and a lot of them today, you know, they, they're very bitter and resentful and because they know in their hearts, they're always thinking, am I here because I gave, a, I gave head? Yeah. <laughs> or am I here because I got talent? You know, I mean, that's always there. That, yeah. that camera, and I used to tell people, that camera outside of what's between a woman's legs is the most powerful weapon in the world. People will do anything to get on that camera, like, you know, Jerry Springer rejects and this and that. For every union actor that's willing to work, to stand up, there's a thousand non-union willing to go, you know, to take your place. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, so, that's why the producers and them, they, they get away with that. Yeah. You know, casting and it's there, and, and they know there's a lot of people that will do it, unfortunately. And uh, I'm totally against it, uh, but it never happened to me. Well, with my face, who's gonna rape me? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't talk that way. Oh, someone, someone will. W rape me? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I need a job. No. But I, do you understand what I'm saying? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, no, and it's it's true in every industry. It's true all right, over. Yeah, it's yeah. In, 
and 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 I'm sure that they're you know.